it's coffee time. I got my butt handed to me today. I'm so curious to know how many of you have ever had this conversation with your friends. So I know a lot of people who their rule in the house is that once you walk in, you take your shoes off and then you either walk around barefoot or in socks, which I'm totally cool with because I love being barefoot. I love being in socks. I don't need to have shoes on, but that's just never been, that was never a rule in my house while I was a kid. I grew up on a farm and we had like a mudroom. So like if your shoes were dirty, you took them off in the mudroom. If they weren't, you just kept wearing them inside. It wasn't like a thing. It wasn't a thing that I have ever really thought about. And so today I was talking about how I, I swept the whole place again and it takes like no time at all for it to get really dirty. And I was like, well, I mean, it's probably because of the patio doors. Like I leave the patio doors open a lot. Hi kitty. I leave the patio doors open a lot. So, you know, loud, loud car. So dust like filters in and gets all over the floor, right? And I was like, that's, I mean, that's why. And everybody stared at me. <laughs> they were like, well, you also just like wear your shoes everywhere in the house. I was like, yeah, but that's not, that's not a thing. Like that's not the reason why it's getting dirty. And they were like, e I mean, it probably is though. And I was like, what? That's not, that's not why. Apparently it is a, it's a very, very firm rule that if you don't want dirty floors, you don't wear shoes around. And for some reason, I've never made that connection. Like, obviously, on carpet, you don't, like, like, here's, a, here's where the disconnect happens for me, I think, is that to me, it's like, oh, the bottoms of my shoes are, look clean. So why not wear them? Like, why, why not worry about it? Because that's how it was brought up, right? It's like, there's a high probability you'll get mud on your shoes in Oregon. If you do, you take them off. If there's no mud, then don't worry about it. But now I'm like, oh, but I don't like that my floors are always dirty. Like, is it the shoes? Is it because I wear shoes in the house? But I don't wear shoes in the house that often. I don't know, guys. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I say this like it's a big deal. Like, ah, oh, should I just, I guess I can stop wearing shoes in the house. I don't know. But here's the other issue is that, like the back door is the door that I come in the most because that's where my garage is. So I'm like, well, do I have, like, do I take my shoes off in the kitchen? Because I literally walk through the entire house to get to the main area of the house. I don't know. But I don't want to have to sweep and mop every day of my life in order to keep it clean cat sheds a lot too. It's just, mm, it's just so many, so many problems, guys. So many issues, but that's okay. He went out onto the patio today. Oh my gosh. So like, so there's the regular door and then the screen door. So I opened up the regular door. I opened up the screen door. I was letting a lot of air in because I was walking out there to like use tools and things back and forth. And I walked out there and I saw that he was on the patio and I was like, okay, you know, I'll, let's, let's see where this goes. Oh, I have to sneeze. Okay, so, so yeah, so he's out there, he's like sniffing around, and I was like, okay, keep an eye on you, and like turn around to do something, I turn around again, and he's like up on the, so the way that my patio is, is here's the ground, and then there's like a cement fence, basically, that's completely solid, fence all the way around, um, and then there's like a roof lip after that, so he was up on the cement fence, I was like, hmm, I like started to walk toward him to like take him off of it. And the second he saw me, he like started to do the petulant kid thing where he was like, like away from me. He was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to do it. And I was like, what are you doing? He did it. He like walked out onto the fence part and I just kind of walked over and picked him up and put him back inside and closed the screen door. But I was like, ah. I was so hoping that I could trust you to not, figure out a way up onto that fence, but I don't know why I thought that was a thing. But I'm, I'm planning on putting up like a screen all the way around so that he can go out there and I don't have to worry about it, but I was just very curious to see what was going to happen. This guy, this guy, this cat, he is, he is curious, just like all cats, and that's okay. Just like a Sherlock cat should be, right? 
Yes. Great. Um, but yeah, let's see what else is going on today. I drank a lot of coffee already today. This needs to probably be my last cup. I think that we're going to go see Wolverine tonight because I still haven't seen it. We wanted to go see R.I.P.D. I want to see R.I.P.D. so bad. It looks so bad, awful good. And, uh, and so we were like talking about it. We're like, yeah, we should all go see R.I.P.D. That would be amazing. And then turns out that R.I.P.D. is only in like certain theaters. Like it's not, and I don't know if that's because it's getting such bad reviews that they're bigger th Theaters and cinemas are like, eh, nah. I hope not. I want to. I still. Ugh, I just want it. But, uh, but yeah. So we're gonna see Wolverine instead because a bunch of us still haven't seen that. And those of us who have seen it are like, yeah, we'll see that again, whether or not they liked it, which is kind of funny to me. Um, but yeah. So that's the plan tonight. Probably get some burritos. I haven't had burritos in so long. Feels like it's been far too long to not have burritos. I'm on a quest right now. To like figure out all the places that are around me I've realized that I can walk which this was this was like the big plus to moving here was that there's more stuff in walking distance so like I've realized that I can walk to a lot of things that make me happy <laughs> make me happy in my heart like um, like breakfast places and the grocery store obviously um, stuff like that is so nice it's so convenient to be able to walk to those sorts of places so um, I've been going on quests like all right, Yelp. Tell, tell me, tell me what's nearby, right? And uh, I'm trying to figure that out so that I kind of understand the area a bit better as well. And Jeannie keeps telling me that there are things near me, and I'm like, "What? I've never seen that before." And she's like, "What? You drive by it every day to go to work." So I'm learning. I'm still learning the area, but I'm happy. I'm very happy to be here. So that's good. Um, I still need to order my soundproofing though. I should look up how much lav mics are, although I, oh gosh, that's going to be so expensive. It's okay. It's okay, because I'm a professional and I can write it off, so <laughs> it's fine. But, um, yeah, and did I tell you guys about the drapes thing? I'm so dumb. So there was a, there was a drape that I got. And I didn't realize, I didn't, in the back in small writing, it said, this package contains one panel. So like in the picture, it had like the two drape panels that you could open up. But in reality, it was only one of those panels was in this package. And I was like, oh, that's so dumb. So I really, really loved the color. It like matched one of my lamps, which blew my mind. And I was like, I was meant to have these drapes, but I only had one panel. So I went back, got another panel, took it home put it up, and then went, there's something very wrong here. It is the same drape, but it is not the same length at all. <laughs> so now I awkwardly have one like really long blue drape and one really short one. But I was like, maybe this can work because this window has the AC unit in it and this one doesn't. It does not look good though. I'm just like, I need to not do this. Like it just, it looks so bad. So I need to go back and get the actual length. It was so dumb. I was like, there's no, there's, I didn't even think that there was a possibility that it could be a different length because it was like a very specific brand and there was only one of that color on the shelf. And I was like, oh, same drape. Nope, totally different length. <sighs> read, read that stuff, guys, read that stuff. Also, if you ever move, um, make sure that you have tape measure on you always because the number of times that I've gone to buy something I've been like wait I don't know how long that is and then I've had to try to like work it out in my head and I'm typically wrong that's happened so many times now too I'm a failure guys I'm I'm a, I'm a superb failure of a human being <laughs> so I'm trying though I'm doing my best um yeah just been just been working on stuff. I met up with Jeannie earlier and oh, tried to record fast facts, but the echo in here is awful. So I have to do it when I go into the office tomorrow. That was funny though. Listening to that, I was like, mm, nope, that is the worst audio ever. <laughs> so I'm glad that you guys have stuck with me through copy time while we've also had the worst audio ever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so 
what's up with me and go see Wolverine and eat burritos later. I hope that you guys had a good day and a good weekend, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.